Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be playing catch up with some Monster High news that I either forgot to discuss or just didn't have until right now because there is a little bit of new stuff. Today, Palmart has received the Core Refresh dolls and people have started to get them from Palmart. As you guys know, Palmart usually gets things early. It's a small business in California, so... Yeah, if you don't live in California, you can't go to their store and pick stuff up, but you can order from their website. They offer free shipping, and usually dolls are only like 5 to $10 more expensive than they should be, but sometimes Palmart decides to go scalper mode and charges $90 for a $60 two-pack, but we won't get into that. Anyway, uh, with that said, let's get into everything that I haven't talked about yet. We'll start things off with Skultimate Secrets Monster Mysteries Draculaura's packaging. This was the only one that wasn't available the last time I talked about these packaging. We hadn't gotten to see it yet, but now we get to. Draculaura's face does seem to be pretty visible in the box, which is good for anyone that wants her. Me personally, I think I'm going to skip this doll. She only looks good with her headset on because her forehead has a receding hairline. She's got a receding hairline and she's like, what, 1600 years old? Okay, then I guess it makes sense that she does. She's old as dirt. But yeah, unlike the other dolls in the line, mostly Abby, uh, Draculaura has a very visible face in the box, so for the most part, I think it'll be easy for people to pick Draculauras that aren't wonked out. <laughs> um, Abby is going to be the most difficult for sure because she's so tall that in the box we can only see her mouth. As for the other two, Claudine and Cleo, they looked pretty visible in their boxes, so that's a plus. Honestly, I'm curious to know if they'll be using this package style for, like, every doll in the Skultimate Secrets line going forward. Because <clears throat> it was recently announced that there's going to be a new wave featuring, I want to say Twyla and Venus, I think we're in it, as... <clears throat> God, sorry about that, my voice has been acting up today. Anyway, um, there's going to be a new line coming soon, which features Venus and I think Twyla? I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, and of course Draculaura's in it, so I'm wondering if they'll use this box style again. Honestly, I would prefer that they just use this box style for every doll going forward. It's really fun, but it looks like it's just going to be for fear books, so. Bummer. His fits to our life. Something else I failed to talk about when we got the photos for it were these new shots of Spectra. Uh, we get to see her face a bit more clearly here, and overall, I like what I see. I like that she still has her cheekbones, and her hair color is really nice, and it looks like Saran to me. Polly has a very certain look to the ends of it, and to me, this looks like Saran. But, I mean, who knows? I could be totally wrong. I'm actually terrible at identifying these things for myself. We also got this out-of-box photo of Spectra where we get a better look at her face sculpt, and all in all, I like what I see. She's got pretty cute earrings. They like that they're kind of, like, dangly-looking chains instead of just, like, sticking straight down. You know, like, I like that they have, like, a little curve to them. <laughs> I just think it's a cute detail. And her eyebrows look interesting to me. I don't know, like, to me, they look kind of hand-painted. <laughs> they probably aren't. It's probably just the way that they look. But they just look, like, like odd to me, you know? In a cool way, though. Not, like, in a bad way. <laughs> um, all in all, this doll has definitely grown on me. And not that I ever disliked her, but when we did first get photos of her, I thought her face looked a little off. And now, I don't think that. I think she looks fine, so I'm happy about that. I don't know when Spectra's going to release. I've heard rumors that we might get her around the same time as the Monster Fest dolls, and that would be nice. Um, we, I know for sure that I think we're getting Caddy at the same time as the Core Refresh collection, but I don't know if they're going to make us wait for Spectra or what, so... Yeah, if any of you have heard anything concrete, let me know in the comments. Guys, my throat is genuinely driving me crazy. I've been talking fine all day, but now my voice keeps like going away and I have to keep clearing my throat between takes. And finally, we got some new photos of the core refresh line in person from Palmart. So these are the shots used for their website. I took these photos from Cleo's Nile, but these are definitely the website photos. I did end up checking. So yeah, a couple little changes that I seem to notice is that Frankie's pink streak looks a bit smaller in person. I don't know, I feel like in the stock photos, the pink streak on them looked a lot, like, larger, but overall I still like it. 
I really like the pink streak. A lot of people seem to be coming around to it. I've seen people say that they want to like add like black to it to make it look like a raccoon tail, like um that emo like that emo hair style that people used to do. It looks really cool. If I knew how to do that, I totally would. I'm thinking you could like use a marker, but I don't want to use like a permanent marker because permanent markers like bleed and it'll just get messy. Like, I don't know. You could always like gel it up and do it like toralize hair stripes. You know, like with paint. I'm not sure. Uh, that's what I would do personally, like use the gel. But if you want something more permanent, I'm sure there's a better way to go about it. I just wouldn't know that for myself. But yeah, all in all, I adore this doll and I cannot wait for them to be on shelves. I usually don't like to order from Palmart because, again, uh, he does upcharge items. Like these are only upcharged by like $5, I think. But I don't know. I also don't like that I can't pick the faces when I order online, and I very much prefer to be able to choose. So with those two things like coupled together, it just is better for me personally to get them in stores. Cleo still looks great. I still absolutely adore this doll. I love that she has his set, and I really like the snake wrapped around her like upper thigh, no lower thigh, and like upper calf. Yeah. I know anatomy words. I know what parts of the leg are called. And Laguna, I just feel like as time goes on, I feel like less and less hyped for this one. I still love her, I still love G3 Laguna, but I just feel like they kind of floundered with this doll. She could have been so much cuter. She needs more color in her hair. Like making it mostly uh, the yellow blonde and her streaks being like so invisible, I feel like takes away from her. Another change made from the original prototype of this doll to the final product is that they made her belt pink, which honestly totally washes it out. It should have stayed black. So just a couple little things here and there that bug me about her, but I do still love this doll. These photos come from Cleo's Nile uh, because they went to purchase the dolls, and Laguna does still have the issue that I just discussed with her hair not being as colorful in person, but I do admit in this photo she's a bit cuter. I would repaint a couple of her accessories personally, but I just never do that. Maybe I should. Maybe I should start repainting the accessories. Cleo still looks as good as ever. I absolutely love her darker makeup and, well, actually it's kind of brighter. She's got blue lipstick, which is like a dark blue color, but then she's got like this light blue around her eyes and I really like how that pops against her skin tone. It's really cute. Overall, this doll is gorgeous. I have like no notes for her. She's just really pretty. And Frankie. Okay, the pink streak looks bigger here. <laughs> I guess it varies from doll to doll, so that'll be something to look out for, for sure. I love them. This is my favorite core refresh doll. Like, as time goes on, this is my number one. I don't think anybody's gonna top this one for me. Uh, my order currently is Frankie, then Cleo, then Draculaura, then Laguna, then Claudine. So, that's my uh, top five for the core refresh. I would really like to see more core refresh dolls, to be honest. Like, I really think characters like Laguna, why did I say Laguna? I meant Gulia. I think characters like Gulia desperately need one, and Torali deserves one. Honestly, I consider the Fear Book doll to be Torali's core refresh, as well as Twyla's, but I would really like an official core refresh collection, you know, for like the other characters. And I mean, like, fuck, they could even throw Deuce and Claude in there if they wanted to. It's kind of odd we haven't gotten any boys since Heath, you know? Haven't seen any be announced. I've heard that if Heath doesn't sell well, most likely we won't see any more G3 boys. I don't know how true that is, but if it is true, it'd be kind of funny because most people did not buy him. But yeah, we talked about Spectra, we talked about the core refresh, we didn't talk about Operetta, but I think we should, what the fuck happened here? And most most importantly, we talked about Hisfit's Torali. I mentioned her at least twice, as well as Fearbook Torali, because I have the brain of a toddler, and if I don't mention the things I like every 10 seconds, I fear everyone around me will forget that I like them. But yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here. It was a pretty light day for doll news, but I always like to talk about anything that I can, and since I had a couple things I hadn't talked about coupled with people starting to get the core refresh dolls, I figured now would be a good time to. Also, this video is a way to alert you guys that the dolls are available from Palmart, so if you're willing to pay five extra dollars and not be able to choose the face for yourself, I say go for it. 
Palmart is also selling the dolls through Walmart's website, so that's fun. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know they did that. I saw it because people told me like, oh, they're available on Walmart. And when I checked, it said sold and shipped by Palmart. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm staring at my Hello Kitty Care Bears plush right now and I feel entranced. I cannot focus. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to go chug three gallons of water so my throat stops acting up. I, uh, comment on the video. I love you guys. Bye!